Hey guys, welcome to Manifesting Better. I'm back with another video and another topic that needs to be addressed. I also have an Instagram account. The link for that is in the description box below. Coaching is also available. The link for that too is in the description box below. Hey guys, so in this video, I will be talking about the topic which is something that I have been wanting to bring up for a while because it has been coming up a lot and I think that this needs to be addressed. In this video, I want to talk about toxic positivity. What is toxic positivity while manifesting? How it can hinder your manifestations, your mental health and why a lot of times people confuse manifestation with toxic positivity. So let's dive into it. First, Let's understand what toxic positivity means. What is the definition of toxic positivity? It means when toxic positivity happens, and this is according to Google, when people believe that negative thoughts about anything should be avoided, even in response to events which normally would evoke sadness, such as loss or hardships, positivity is encouraged as a means to cope, but tends to overlook and dismisses true expression. Now, um, in here, I will be discussing a few things and I am pretty sure that a lot of these things are things that you would have heard, which would have triggered you at some point or are things that you don't want to actually look at because manifestation can be something where we can take it on a very face value and can confuse it with something that it isn't and it can become a situation of toxic positivity, right? And if you are someone who feels generally positive, and doesn't believe in the concept of toxic positive positivity that's amazing this video is not for you uh, so you can look forward to my next video where i will be talking about different topics again that you might resonate with so how does toxic positivity comes into manifestation see manifestation as a whole teaches the concept of trying to think positive trying to feel positive and it's because uh, this manifestation community it has gotten more and more common that people talk about changing your thoughts, changing your beliefs, changing your assumptions and that's amazing but because the knowledge sometimes is taken into account from a very face value point of view which means instead of taking the meaning behind it a lot of times what happens is is that the teaching is taken too much into account directly for what it is being said for and what that does is that it forces people to run away from some things which they shouldn't be running away from and it forces people to try to pretend that everything is fine when it isn't and when there is a lot of it going on and when there are a lot of fears a lot of things that are coming up now what teachings and manifestation promote toxic positivity before that i would just like to clear it up that manifestation as a whole in its essence isn't toxic positivity it's in fact your ability to deal with the negatives of life through a positive outlook and through a reinforcing outlook of your new self in in a way right and this of course there are different definitions that i have also brought up and there are different definitions that you will see but as a whole this is what manifestation means now what teachings and manifestation actually promote toxic positivity and why it's bad because you might ask hey current positivity is something good why it's bad so first reason why toxic positivity is bad is because it can force you to ignore your trauma. When you have trauma in relation to something, when you are coming from a, a set of experiences which has created a traumatic response in your body and you are running from a survival mode in your own body, what is basically happening is while you're trying to be positive, trauma is not healed through toxic positivity. Positive thoughts is, are not going to heal your trauma. Dwelling into the trauma and removing it and empowering yourself through it, through different different practices is what releases the trauma, not the toxic positivity. I will give you an example. Let's say someone who has been cheated on in relationships multiple times, and now they got a person in their life who they are trying to get a better dynamic with. But because uh, their fears, their body is trying to protect them, in its own way, when your body is trying to protect you, it is bringing up past emotions. It is bringing up quote unquote anxiety, and it is bringing up these fears in its attempt to protect you because how your body works is that it takes in the past information the past triggers the past trauma it projects it onto the future and it tells you that hey if something like this has happened in the past maybe you will be cheated on again and because 
this time i don't want you to be caught off guard what i will do is i will give you these thoughts so many times so that at least you are prepared when it happens the next time at least you are not blindsided because the one thing that your body hates is being blindsided and it is only blindsided when you are not actually taking in the experiences that it is telling you that is why your body brings out these past issues projects it onto the future and that is how the anxiety and the fears and the trauma comes now if i will tell someone like this to have positivity and in their body there is something uh, else going on and then instead of dealing with it and identifying the root cause they are just trying to think positive in that moment it can be slightly counterproductive because when that person is trying to think positive it is only going to bring up more resistance for that person which is going to hinder the process that's why toxic positivity isn't helpful second reason why it's uh, not helpful is because it can create mental health issues for someone who is just trying to think positive and when they are getting so many negative thoughts what can happen is that that can tell them that hey i am doing something wrong and because they associate a meaning to it that i am doing something wrong it can create a dynamic in their mind when they would start to assume that i am doing something wrong just because i am having natural human negative thoughts which isn't something that you should go for and in fact what that reinforces as a whole is someone who's running away rather than someone who's facing and coming at it from a powerful perspective so what are the teachings and manifestation where uh, toxic positivity can be promoted and how can we prevent that the first place where toxic positivity can be promoted and again at, at the start of this video i mentioned that if this is not you then please go to the next video but if you have had similar experiences then please understand that this is how to deal with it the first teaching in which it can be promoted is ignoring the 3d this is something i talked about in my last video red flags in terms of manifestation but ignoring the 3d basically means there is something going on in front of me i am closing my eyes pretending it doesn't exist and i am just trying to tell myself that that just because i am closing my eyes and pretending it doesn't exist that it won't exist unfortunately this teaching is not wrong that when people talk about ignore the 3d it's just that people take it too literally they take it on the face value that oh i have to ignore the 3d hence what i will do is i will close my eyes and pretend the 3d doesn't exist hence i will close my eyes and if someone is actually talking to me disrespectfully i will pretend it doesn't exist when in fact that is not what ignoring the 3d means ignoring the 3d basically means when there is something happening in front of you which is not as per what you want in your life that you can actually tell yourself that that it doesn't have to be the end ignoring it basically means accepting that it exists but also accepting that it's not the end for me that's what it means it doesn't mean that stop like just totally close your eyes and pretend it doesn't exist in all situations that won't be helpful because let's say you are in a relationship where the relationship has gotten toxic or let's say you are in a situation where uh, you are you have to deal with it in the current moment this teaching can actually promote the concept of toxic positivity which is isn't helpful second ignoring your circumstances what that means is when you are going through a set of circumstances and uh, there are two different uh, differences in it which i will tell and talk about here first when you are going through a set of circumstances and those circumstances are very difficult until and unless you accept that i am going through that set of circumstances and this is not to victimize yourself this is just to accept that i am going through it you will not be able to surpass it properly because what you will do is you will invalidate your experience and by validating your experience you are not making yourself a victim you are just accepting that this is how it is in this moment right uh, for example let's say i just got to know that my sp got with someone else and i am feeling bad now if i am feeling bad i don't have to ignore that circumstance i can accept that it exists as of now or i saw this and i am feeling bad because of it i can deal with my bad feelings instead of just pretending that it didn't happen and then invalidating my feelings in that moment now takes me to the second point just because you are accepting your circumstances doesn't mean that they have to be true and doesn't mean that that allows you 
to victimize yourself based on that. So if I found that out, that doesn't mean that I have will sit there and keep dwelling in my circumstances 24 seven telling myself, Oh, why did this happen to me? Why did, does this always happen to me? That's a different thing. Accepting it, telling yourself, Oh yeah, this happened today. I feel bad. It's not one of my best days. I don't feel the, the best that I usually do. Great. That doesn't mean that tomorrow cannot be better. And I cannot wake up with uh, the zeal to know that I can get what I want. Two different things. Third thing, running away from your feelings, as I mentioned it before. A lot of times what happens is that we pretend to run away from the feelings that we are feeling in this moment. Let's say I'm feeling bad. Instead of actually accepting that I feel bad in this moment and dealing with it, sitting with yourself, allowing yourself time to process it, you can use the steps of resistance that I follow. Uh, I will link them down below. I already have a video on it. But instead of dealing with it, what people start to do sometimes because they are taking that teaching of ignore the feeling too literally is that when that feeling is coming up instead of actually telling myself I feel bad I'm pretending I feel great and I'm just trying to say I feel great I feel great when in this moment I am hurt my trauma is coming out I am feeling anxious I don't like it but to pretend that I don't feel bad can oftentimes put your feeling and the focus on the bad feeling because essentially what you're doing is you're telling yourself okay great this feeling is how it is this is how it exists but I have to ignore this because if I look at it um, what if it comes in my life right and I start to look at it and then I just try to pretend that it doesn't exist when in fact I'm putting more of my focus on that feeling which is bringing more of that feeling in my life a better way to handle it is to sit with it, allow that it exists, but that doesn't mean that it has to be my end or it doesn't mean that this is where I will always be. Just because I had a negative emotion, just because I had a negative feeling, just because I had a doubt or some negative thoughts, that doesn't mean that I won't get what I want. Guys, listen to this. If each and every thought was manifesting, you would have what you wanted already because you have done some affirmations. Every affirmation is a thought. If every affirmation was manifesting instantly in that moment, you would have gotten what you wanted. But in fact, things that come into your life with a long period of time frame and success over the whole comes with a factor of embodiment where you are changing yourself as a person with that feeling. Instead of trying to go through the way of toxic positivity, a better way to look at the situation would be how, what can I be in response to this thing that is happening in front of me, which can reinforce my self concept. So if I found out that my SP is with someone else, who can I be in front of it that can reinforce the concept that I'm trying to build that I am the prize and I will get what I want. I can respond to it in a way. For example, if I get to know that I can tell myself, great, I feel bad today. That's okay. I can feel, I can have a day where I can feel bad for a few hours. Okay, but just because I feel bad for a few hours, that doesn't mean that I have to dwell in it, that I won't get what I want or that I am not the prize in this situation and that my SP wouldn't come to me. That is how you can take these things into account. That is a better way to handle it rather than just closing your eyes and pretending it doesn't exist. And that is why manifestation is not toxic positivity. It is your ability to face the circumstances in front of you from the new self image or the new self concept that you're trying to build and cement. That's where it comes down to. So I hope this video makes sense. This won't be the last video that I will make on this topic because this is a topic that I feel is very important, not just for you to get what you want, but I think we as a community and as a whole need to rise above the idea that manifestation is just about getting things. It is about maintaining things and it is about getting into the part of ourselves which can have the integrity to face these things and still come out on top. So I hope it makes sense and I will see you guys in the next video. Click the like button if you like the video. Subscribe and turn the notifications on for more such content. Comment down your video suggestions and I will see you guys in the next one.